Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. I'll be making a forest witch and her snake protector. This is a redesign of forgotten ideas that took a turn. I'll be using Gil and Halloween as a base. Here are my original concept ideas. Barely anything there, really. And here are my new concepts. So let's begin with the forest witch. So for her hair, I'm going for very big, poofy pigtail design with some little bangs. I will be using yarn to make this poofy hairstyle. I will be using a light and dark green yarn. I will separate the yarn into its individual strings and read root only her hairline and the part. To start, I hide away her hair and spray her face. I start with blushing with soft browns on her cheeks and lips, and then add greens to her eyes. I continue to add more details and build up the colors with each layer of sealant. I add her brows with the green gradient matching her hair. I just love freckles, so I just had to add freckles to this doll. It just makes them look so cute, so more lifelike as well. I add the freckles in different shades of browns. I want her face to be simple and cute since her outfit is going to be the most detailed and the main focus really. I finish up her face with the catch lights in her eyes and gloss up her lips and eyes. I also style her hair with some bangs. For her outfit, I start with her dress from the pattern Mori Forest Girl by Rad Doll Clothes on Etsy. I am using this dark green for the accent color and this green with flowers as the main piece of the dress. I cut out the pieces and put the dress together. First the cuffs, then the sleeves with a small gather at the top. Then I add the collar. I sew the sides and gather the bottom ruffle and then attach the ruffle. And of course I add some snaps to the back for a closure. I also made two different types of bloomers. I first started with the white, but then I just felt like it didn't really fit with the rest of her outfit, so I did change it to the dark green. I just felt it looked better too. Next piece of her outfit is her overcoat, which is Delightful's hooded cape pattern minus the hood and the second layer plus a lining. I had a few browns, so I tried to see which one looked best with the green of her dress. I cut out all the pieces, ignore the hood piece. I first glue down the armholes, or you can also hem them. I then sew the back darts on the back piece. I then attach the front to the back piece along the side and shoulder seams. I do the same with the lining as well. I 
I then sew the lining to the outer layer at the collar good sides in. I then gather the ruffle and attach it to the bottom. I then add the strap closures at the front with some wooden beads and some buttons. I go back and add more details later after I make the hat and her staff, some more like buttons, petals, and some green stuff. I also use some embroidery thread to make the stitching look messy so it makes it look like she's still learning how to sew so it's not like all the same way. Yeah. My biggest goal for the shoes was to make the curly part. So what I did was I took Twyla's shoes, shook them up in my hand a bit, and BOOM! Magic! Perfect curly shoes. <sighs> Just joking, I had to do a lot of testing and figuring out how to do it. So, to make the curl, make a fabric triangle tube, fold wire, shape of fabric tube, put stuffing into fabric tube, then glue fabric tube the top of the shoe. I then wrap the shoe with different layers of fabric, trying to figure out what looks best, just experimenting to make it look good. I then cut black felt as the sole of the shoe and then add more embroidery thread to the top little cuff area of the shoe just to have that hand stitch look. I add more details later as well. Like the shoes for the hat, I had to just guess and figure out what worked. I also added wire so that I can bend the hat in a different way, make it look very witchy. I also wanted the big curly top as well and also more hand stitching again. Man, this witch needs to practice her stitching a little bit more. For her staff, I braided some wire to me and then made it into a big curl. A lot of curls with this girl. I then wrap it over and over again with paper tape just to make it really, really thicker. Make it look like wood-ish, kind of. I then add a layer of fabric. I then paint the bottom green and the top brown and then add more embroidery thread and other details. And with that, the forest witch is done. Now for the snake protector, psych! So the reason this video is a little bit different is it is going to be a two-parter with the snake protector. It was a struggle. I was either going to show my failure and me giving up on the snake protector, but someone told me that I don't give up. So I decided to make a second video for him later on after Christmas sometime in January. I am also late with this video, I am sorry, and I just didn't want to wait and push this back more and more because then I would have to push back more projects, so I'm posting this one and I am postponing the snake protector for a later one. I am sorry, I am such a disappointment. I am very disappointed in myself as well. And here is the final doll, our little forest witch. Deep in the forest lives a witch. 
She's peaceful and works on making tonics and potions to heal the creatures of the forest. She has a caring soul and loves to collect herbs and plants. One day, she helps a hurt white snake. But little does she know, this snake isn't what it appears to be. What will happen to our little forest witch? Oh my gosh, she is so cute! I just love her! I'm so happy with the small details and of course her little story. She does need a name, so leave a comment down below what you guys think her name should be. And I look forward to seeing you guys with my next video. And hopefully the snake protector video will come and will be a success. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today. Been creating this doll was a lot of fun. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more part of my process. And subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you for all your love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. I'm sorry again. Bye!